Okay, so magandang umaga mga engineers at welcome ulit tayo sa Engineer JD YouTube channel. And for this video, no, so this is the second part of our numerical method series. So dito, so sa video na to, so kung kahapon, diniscuss natin kung paano kunin yung derivatives without without using actually the derivative functions. Ngayon, ngayon gagamitin naman natin yung numerical method kung saan magsusolve tayo ng roots ng equation natin. So, so magsusolve tayo ng roots ng equation natin. So, of course, without using our equation solvers and without using the shift solve function. So, no shift solve, of course, no problem para sa ating mga engineers. Because uh, may paraan tayo para dyan. Okay. So, without further ado, so let's now solve this example problem. Okay? So, first, so we have to find the only root of this equation. So, x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So, dito, so may dalawang method sa akong iti-discuss ngayong araw. So, first, we have the newton raphson method, no? And second is the bracketing method. So, first, discuss mo natin sa newton raphson So, newton raphson paano ba nag-work sa newton raphson For example, ito yung, of course, yung xy plane natin. For example, ito yung graph ng equation natin. So, obviously, this is our x-axis. So, so, dito, yung root. So, bali, dito yung root ng equation natin. Kasi dito siya nag-intersect like, along the x-axis. Now, for example, if meron tayong initial value ng estimate natin, initial estimate root, so say it's x naught. Ito. So, this is our actual root. So, sabihin natin x1 to. Uh, x uh, a, actual. Yan. Now, if we project this above, dito, so mag-intersect siya sa graph, okay, then we can draw a tangent line. So, tangent line dun sa graph natin, and then mag-intersect siya ulit sa x-axis. Now, this is our next guess value para sa root ng equation natin. We like this x1. Then, after nyan, again, project ulit pataas. So, intersect. And then, draw ulit tayo ng graph natin. So, Okay, nag-intersect ulit siya sa x-axis natin. So, this one. So, x2. Okay. And then, and so on and so forth. Hanggang sa lumapit ng lumapit yung estimate x values natin. Doon sa actual root natin. So, pag, nako, pag, na, pag nakalapit na siya doon, so with a certain reasonable accuracy, so we call it the root of the equation natin. Okay? Ayan. So, of course, may kita natin Newton Watson requires ang initial root natin. Initial guess value natin. Okay? Now, dito, kung dumadami tayo ng tangent lines, actually, we can derive the formula for the newton Raphson formula natin. So, newton Raphson method. So, that is x n plus 1. So, the next root, the next estimate root equals x n minus f of x n all over f prime x n. So, this is the formula. So, where x n is the previous estimate root f of x n, pag sinubstitute natin sa function in yung value and derivative, so of course, derivative ng function, we substitute the previous estimate root natin. Okay? So, again, yeah, gamitin na natin to for this example. So, sabi ko nga, we need the function and its derivative naman. So, let's do it. So, let's construct. So, for this example, xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn is just this one. This is our function of x. Ayan. So, this is our f of x. So, so magiging x cubed 3x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over the derivative of the function natin. Okay? So, we have derivative ng x cubed to 3 n squared. Derivative ng 3 n squared 6 n. Derivative ng 3 x n is 3. Of course, derivative ng 2 is 0. So, this is our working equation for this course, for this method. Now, para natin gagamitin yan sa calculator natin, ayan, so, gagawin natin, first, 
may kita natin sa problem, merong estimate, meron na siyang initial estimate root, which is negative 3. So, gawin natin, negative 3, store na sa variable x. Okay. So, of course, any calculator will do. So, generic yung pag-describe ko ng method natin. So, store it sa x, ayan, then, let's emulate this. So, gawin na natin itong procedure nito. So, sa calculator nyo, input this one. So, we have x minus x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over 3x squared plus 6x plus 3. Yan. So, input natin siya. Okay? So, try natin. So, negative 3. Pasok sa x. Then, x minus x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over 3x squared plus 6x plus 3. Now, gagawin natin, eto, di ba? May value ng x, isa substitute na dyan. So, calculator natin, isa substitute na automatically, then we'll get an answer. Now, gawin natin, eto, store natin sa variable x natin. Yan, store sa variable x. Substitute x. So, you see now, so, kung nakita nyo, so, may kita nyo, may nakukuha na tayong value. So, first, negative 2.41666 something. 7. Kita ba ba? Okay. Kita pa naman. Negative 2 point something. Okay. Then, we continuously press the answer. We either press the equals. Equals. Okay. So, you'll get another answer. So, negative 2.1105. Then, press ulit the equal sign. Negative 2.10106, blah, blah, blah. Press ulit the answer sign. Negative 2.0001, and so on. Press ulit the answer sign. Negative 2.0000 something. Actually, may 00012. Okay? Now, press ulit the answer sign. So, ulit ulit lang hanggang sa may kita nyo mag-converge na siya. So, dito, in this case, nag-converge na siya to negative 2 natin. So, ibig sabihin, so nag-converge na siya, so, ibig sabihin, the root of the equation, so, isang root na nahanap niya using Newton Raphson procedure is negative 2. So, therefore, the answer is negative 2. Okay po? Yan. So, kita nyo, so, again, follow this newton raphson procedure. Ito. So, x and minus function over derivative. Ayan. Then, of course, pasok natin yung guess value. Input. Then, store ulit natin. Doon sa same variable. And then, continuous pre continuously press the equals button. So, hanggang sa pag-converge yung sagot natin. Okay. So, kuha po yun. Okay. So, okay. so next. Pray ko na. So, next, next procedure natin is, of course, yung tinatawag na bracketing method. So, how do we use the bracketing method procedure sa pagsusolve natin? So, again, let's go back to the graph. For example, this is our graph. Ayan. Ayan. This is our graph. Okay? For example, nalimbawa, of course, bracketing method requires two initial values. Let's say, x, 1, and x2. Okay? Now, if we draw vertical lines here, x1, x2. So, may kita natin na within this interval, okay, within this interval, may kita natin, merong isang point sa loob, okay, na kung saan yung graph nag-intersect siya sa x-axis. So, ibig sabihin, may kita natin, di ba? May kita natin that this is a root of the equation in between these two intervals. Now, also, observe this, first, observe this picture, may kita natin at this point, ito, nag-intersect sa graph, okay? At this point, value of x, negative. Tama? Negative yung value natin since it's below the x-axis. At this point naman, meron tayong plus, okay? Since it's above the x-axis. Now, ano mga pansin natin? 
take note, negative to, positive to, opposite in sign tayo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, opposite in sign, so, ibig sabihin, yun yung feature natin for bracketing, met bracketing method. So, dapat, merong isa na negative na negative at sign at isa na positive at sign para sure tayo na merong at least isang root dito sa interval na to. Sa gitna. Dito. Okay? So, nasundan ko ba? Okay. So, dito, okay, so, kung nakuha niya na to, concept na to, let's now apply it to an example. Okay? So, dito, find the only real root again. Find the only real root using the bracketing method. So, for our case, let's now assume an initial value. So, x initial negative 3, uh, x final 0. Okay? Now, sa kalki nyo, uh, you can go to the table mode. Okay? Table mode. Okay? Table. Table mode. Ah, no, 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 no. Hindi pala table. You can go to, ah, tama. Nangyayito na rin ako. You can go to the table mode and then input this equation. Remember, dapat, mag, mag, dapat yung right side na natin is equal to zero bago natin i-input siya sa table. Ayan, i-zero natin muna yung right side and then yung i-input natin is this one, the left side of the equation. So, yun yung f of x natin. So, input natin. So, f of x equals x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 2. Ayan, okay? Then, so, input natin x cubed plus 3 x squared plus 3 x plus 2. Then, tatanungin ka ng start. Okay? Tatanungin ka ng start. Now, we have the initial value. So, xi. So, this is the start value. Negative 3. Input natin. Negative 3. Tatanungin ka naman ng n. Okay? n. So, n. Now, xf is 0. So, the final is 0. So, input 0. Tatanungin ka naman ng step. So, step is the increment value. So, ilang, so ano yung magiging increment x value nung, nung magiging table natin? So, in this case, from negative 2 to 0, para marating niya from negative 2 to 0, ano yung increment natin? Okay? Now, what I use para mabilis, remember sa calculator, especially, for example, ito, Canon or Casio, ang maximum number of increments natin is 30. Maximum number of increments natin is 30. So, pero, para mas madali, para mas maganda, I'll, para mabilis, I'll set it to 20 increments. Okay? 20 increments tayo. So, ibig sabihin, yung input nyo sa step is final minus initial. Again, final, yung input sa step, Yung input nyo, final minus initial divided by the number of steps na gusto nyo. Okay? So, for this case, gusto ko, ang final ko is 0. Tama? Ang initial ko ay negative 3. And yung gusto kong number of steps is 20. Okay? Kuha nyo. Gusto kong number of steps is 20. Yun yung input natin dyan. Okay? So, 0 minus negative 3 divided by 20. Now, mag-generate na siya ng table natin, okay? Generate na siya ng table. So, most likely, yung makikita nyo dyan, so, x, f, x, then 1, 2, 3, I'm, I'm sure ganyan yung itsura, no? x, f of x, 1, 2, 3, then may x values tayo dyan, for example, dito, negative 3, negative 7, so basically, at x equals negative 3, substitute dito, you'll get negative 7, Okay? Then, yung bawa, negative 2.85, you'll get negative 5.331. Ito yung nasa display natin. So, again, substitute to dito, you'll get this one. Kuha po. Then, and so on, and so forth. Okay? Now, balik tayo dun sa bracketing procedure natin. Ano bang kailangan natin? Okay? Kung matatandaan nyo kanina, ang kailangan natin is actually dapat opposite ang sign. Ibig sabihin, nag-change ang sign. Tama? From negative to positive or from positive to negative. Okay? So, from negative to positive or from positive to negative, 
So kung may kita kung ipabrowse nyo pa down button, so may may kita kayo actually. So pagdating dito, may nakita na ako. So may nakita na ako at line 7, so line 7, line 8. So may nakita na ako, negative 2.1 dito, then negative 1.95. Ang value daw ng f of x is negative 0 0.331 and then 0 0.142. Six. Okay, so done po. So nakikita nyo, ito nagbago na ng sign. So negative siya originally, negative siya at negative 2.1, and then naging positive siya at negative 1.85. So ibig sabihin, by the bracketing procedure, alam natin, nagbago yung sign, between this interval, meron tayong root ng equation natin. So meron tayong root na kailangan natin. Okay? So now, Alam na natin yung bracket na to, okay? So, balik ulit tayo. So now, alam na natin. So, pwede na natin siyang i-remember. Dito, so, ang initial value, negative 2.1. So, initial value, negative 2.1. Final value, negative 1.95. Ayan, okay. So, next, let's press AC. Ayan, so babalik ulit tayo dun sa Ito, babalik ulit tayo dito Again, press equals You'll get again, so babalik ulit tayo sa start So sa start natin ngayon Is negative 2.1 Ang end natin is, of course Yung end na kanina, negative 1.95 And then the increment And then the step So again, 20 steps So final, so negative 1.95 Minus initial Negative 2.1 Over the number of steps 20. So, yan. Yeah. Negative 2.1, negative 1.95. Then, minus negative 2.1 over 20. Okay. So, again, mag-generate ulit siya ng table. No? Now, in this case, buray na natin ito. In this case, may na-generate ulit siya value sa table. And then, pag sinerge natin, ayun, may nakita na ako. Ito. So, sa line number 14 daw So, line number 14 and line number 15 So, value negative 2.002 And then, negative 1.995 Dito So, may nakita na daw siya uh, Dito daw, value is 7 times 10, negative 3 Then, naging 0 0.0149 So, nakikita nyo from negative, naging positive ulit. Okay? Sig sabihin, between this interval, meron tayong root na nakuha. Okay? So, big sabihin, meron tayong root dyan. So, after nyan, so, ito na yung bago nating initial and final step na initial and final values natin. So, again, substitute dito. Okay? Substitute. Okay? Ayan. So, ito na yung bagong value. So, press again, AC or CA. So, press equals. So, ang start na natin ngayon is this one. Negative 2.002. Okay? And the final value. So, for kanina lang din. So, negative 1.995. The step. Okay? So, ang step natin. So, from step natin is final. Negative 1.995. Minus initial. Negative 2.002 divided by the number of steps again, fix tayo sa 20 so, negative negative 2.002 negative 1.995 negative minus negative 2.002 divided by 20 so, again, mag-generate ulit siya ng values para sa atin so so you'll see Ayan, ito, may nakita na ako. So, line 6 and 7 dito. Line 6 and 7. Line 6, line 7. So, dito ang display is negative 2, negative 1.999. So, negative 7 times 10 to the negative 4. And then, 2.9. Positive times 10 to the negative 4. Ayan. So, may kita natin. Hindi malabo, sorry. 6... Ayan, so, may kita natin, negative 2, 
negative. So dito negative 7, pas na ito, naging positive 2.9. So nagbago ulit ng sign. So ibig sabihin, within this interval, meron tayong root. Okay na. Now, mapapansin nyo, magkalapit na yung dalawa. So negative 2, negative 1.999. So actually, you can now say yung yung approximate root actually, yung display pag pre-nouse nyo dito, it's negative 1.999. Yan. So, pag sinod nyo na actually, pag, yan, alimbawa, stop na kayo, gusto nyo na mag-stop dito. So, dito, mapapansin nyo, close na sila parehas dun sa negative 2 na value. So, we can now say that the final root is negative 2 as expected. Okay. So, I hope, medyo mahaba ba yung discussion na to, but we discuss thoroughly yung concepts behind these two methods and then yung procedure for of course, without shift solve walang problema sa atin, mga engineers okay, so so siguro bukas magdidiscuss ulit ako ng isa pa, numerical method, so integration naman so of course, we deal with trapezoidal and the Simpsons one, and the Simpsons one third rule, so so, keep updated no? and please Continue subscribing to the YouTube channel and follow and like my Facebook page for more updates. Okay? So, hanggang dito lang muna tayo mga engineers. Uh, good morning and have a nice day.